What's going on, y'all? So, man, Mike Irvin, you understand, was out here <clears throat> being, well, I don't, I can't really say, but if I'm going to be honest with you, all right, all right I'm going to attack it from this angle, man. Let me, let me, let me not go there because I was going to go here. Let me attack it from this angle, right? So, a woman or whatever accused Mike of whatever, you know, something that could be false, something that could be true, right? And <clears throat> to be, I'll be honest with you. I think it's false. I think it's false. I'm going to just go out and say, I think it's false. You see, now, just because a woman made an accusation or whatever she said that Mike did, now he got to pay a price. He gets pulled from Super Bowl coverage off of what the NFL Network and ESPN. So if it's so if it's false, now he's out here paying a price for something that he didn't do. See, we're gonna talk about this. I, I know it's a family channel, but I'm gonna touch on this a, this a tad bit. Because I've seen other content creators, you know, especially in this space, talk like Mike Irvin was already guilty. Oh, we're going to talk about that real quick. Yeah, yeah, we're going to talk about that. And so now Mike is suing the accuser in the Marriott. As he should. And I hope he get every penny. You know, I think, you know, see, look, see one thing for sure. Sometimes Mike talk and it gets him, kind of gets his mouth in, you know, a little word. He's just saying, he's, you know, and, and, you know, Mike, he's going he to be honest about the situation, right? And Mike, you know, admitted that he had a little couple, little, you know, he had a little drink or two. And uh, he said he really remembered much. But then I seen a little article talking about in the camera. They said that he was shaking an employee hand in her hand after. Hmm. Hmm. So if he says something outrageous, you're going to shake his hand after? Hmm. See, this, see, this is what I don't like. I'm going to come off from... from what happened, right? This is what I don't like. I don't like how, because she a woman, now all of a sudden they're going to take her side and they're going to believe her. And now he got to pay a price or whoever got to pay a price because she said, you know, and I understand why the NFL network and them did it. They just trying to save themselves. They just trying to save faces business. I understand. I'm never going to argue with business, but I don't like, you know what I'm saying? When women falsely accuse men in general, but especially these athletes as well, off of something they didn't do because they're trying to get a little something because they got ulterior motives in mind. No, she should pay the price. Oh, Mike, get every penny and then some because that's wrong. You know, see, as a man, we got to sit over there and pay. You know what I mean? We got to pay the price in everything we do, whether it be success or failure. We got to pay the price. We Ain't nobody going to come save us. Right? She should, hey, she should pay consequences. And I don't like, you understand me, how, you know, without even all the facts is being put out there. Just off of what you heard, now all of a sudden, you know, I, 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 see, these, I see these content creators going like Mike was already guilty. You know, regardless of whether it comes into favor or not, we already know that man in, the, in this court system, true justice will never, ever be accomplished. But no, I don't like that. Quite frankly, that's simplest behavior and that's unmanly behavior because I've seen a lot of you so-called man content creators sitting over there trying to already side with the woman and don't even got no facts, don't even got nothing. It's going off of he say, she say, but don't side with the woman. That's weak. That's weak. That is weak. Yeah, I know, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be, but nah, man, I wanted to say this one. That's weak. Guilty or not, let the facts come out. Let it be undis you know what I mean? Undisputed. Before you get over here talking about, you know, you know, trying to take sides. Well, shoot, since y'all want to take sides, I'm taking a side of Mike. Prove me wrong then. Because I don't like that. Even if it wasn't Mike, it was somebody else, I still don't like that. Somebody got to, you know what I mean? Nah, man. Uh-uh. 
Yeah, you, you doing good. Mike, go ahead, man, get paid. You know, go ahead and get paid. I believe if I'm mistaken, maybe that same hotel or something, Warren Sapp went through something similar, not maybe the same, but something in that nature, if I'm not mistaken. It's like they plotting on them, plotting on these athletes. Man, that's the, man, come on, man. They got to sit over there, man. The playmaker can't go out like that. Nah, man. See, hey, see, hey, Mike be having a good time. And that's just the same PG, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nah, man. Nah. I, you know, he already, you know, just off of words alone, just off of her accusations alone, he got to pay a price. He got to be off the Super Bowl kind. You know what I mean? Mike might be missing a bag. You know, and, and quite frankly, we love to see Mike. When Mike get up on there talking, man, we love to see Mike. You know, he be all fired up. Man, we love to see that, man. Playmaker, man. And now you going to take that coverage away because he say, she say? Nah, man. Nah. And for Mike to even come out like that, Mike got enough facts. Mike might have remembered or something, you know. And, hey, Mike going to fight it. Good for Mike. I hope you win. But anyway, man, that's all I wanted to say, man, regarding that. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. We up out of here.